Hey, welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Divine timing, we are rising. I am your messenger, Shira, and I am back with another divinely guided, intuitive channel message just for you collective. So, grand rising. I hope you all have a beautiful start of the week. It is Monday. It's Monday. Yeah. So, um, I'm really in good spirits. I'm definitely looking forward to having a kick-ass week, you know, doing some kick-ass shit, you know, per usual. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely wishing that you all have the energy and the focus and the determination to make some shit happen for yourself as well. <clears throat> Ain't nothing to it but to do it, you know? Um, so last night, I actually went to sleep right after I uploaded that freaking video, the part one to this story here to whatever the hell is going on in this auric field um i fell right to sleep y'all and i had this craziest dream you guys tell me why i had this dream i i like i kid you not i had this dream of this girl right and um this girl was actually she was like my childhood bully and i don't know why this girl hated me so much you know because i didn't grow up rich you know i didn't grow up with a silver spoon you know as per many of us but in me for me in particular you know i grew up in a struggle you feel me it took me some time you know to realize what i was worth and to ignite the power within me so but that's neither here nor there the point of the matter is this girl hated me when we were kids and from this point forward i thought she still did you know but in the dream, I had ran up to her, or no, excuse me, I ran into her, and she had ran into me, and she was like, oh my God, Shira, I've been, I've been looking all over for you, I've been needing your healing hands, like she was talking about my hands, and she was like, you're, you're like, you're, ma she was saying like, something about my hands being magic, so I don't know if that's symbolic in some way, but I was just like, what? And she was just like hugging me and I'm, you know, just like, I don't know. She was just like hugging me and she was so happy to see me. I was like, oh God, this is, I don't know what this means. So, um, as we pulled energetically wise, I believe it was in yesterday's readings. One of the, one of the few that I uploaded, I mentioned that, um, dreams are very significant now. Um, I've even been dreaming, having dreams about my, my kids, you know, so yeah the, that dream was so crazy i was like what in the world all right let's get this music started so we can get this reading started all right spirit guides most high creator of all things ancestors angels divine intelligence Archangel Michael, please come online and assist with the divine protection over the divine collective, please and thank you. Alright, what else would you like to do for the divine feminine to know as it pertains to her current situation, whether present, past, or future that is coming up and coming out in the reading so give me some overall energy spirit please and thank you all right so someone here is holding on by a thread um so yeah this is heavy mental conflict these could be the snakes or this could be uh towards these snakes okay they are holding on by a thread energetically all right um, I think this has a lot to do again with this stop and think here. I feel like you all know who it is that the most high is guiding you all from, you know, um, and to me, it's just imperative to really use your third eye, you know, really take a second to go within, meditate, um, because again, where you're going you know, especially for those of you who have such a high calling over your life, you know, you were called to do many great things. You know, you may think that 
the situations that you are going through presently, you may think that it's like, oh my God, it's, it's just going to kill you. It's going to break you. But did you ever consider the fact that perhaps what you're going through now would be a testimony of a lifetime that will not only launch you into your grand rising and your further great awakening, however, it will also assist others and it will help others to see that they're not alone in whatever it is that they may be facing also. So yeah, someone here, like I said, I'm definitely getting snake energy, is certainly holding on by a thread mentally, all right? Yeah, they're, they're definitely trapped in this chaos energy, okay? I'm here and they wanted to rage chaos onto you for reasons unknown, unwarranted, or unjust. And, you know, the scales are being balanced out in your favor. So certainly take that word resonates. some more messages spirit guides supplied, creator of all things and so oh, those wanted to come out with you okay Crap. all right yeah realization all right so someone here whether you or this person or these people has had a realization perhaps this is piggybacking off of my the dream that i had you know, um, I'm hearing like maybe some snakes in the grass or in the past. I don't know why I just had to say that snakes in the grass or in the past or no, no, excuse me. Snakes in the grass or from the past are now having a realization of, you know, their actions towards you, their behavior. I'm not saying everyone don't think everyone that has wronged you in the past, uh, I mean, excuse me, in the past is in this energy of realizing their wrongdoings however there are some people who are and that could be uh those of whom are still heavily in your energy which is why these individuals may at random not frequently but at random pop up in your dreams all right so we have move in silence win in peace all right so you're um can like you're being guided to continue to move in silence so that you can win in peace. All right. I am still picking up on that energy of just having a bunch of different, you know, snakes around, like just, just ill intent, hateful people in general, like that are just inherently low vibrational. All right. Little did they know though, you have ancient Egyptian blood. All right. Um, a lot of you have come into this uh, recognition all right and um you are understanding your assignment even further now okay if you know you know lean not on your own understanding okay lean not on your own understanding always keep the faith trust in the most high and allow the divine to follow i mean to guide you all right, um, because you will never be led astray. Um, and I feel like a lot of you are definitely realizing that as things are taking place and taking off in your life in ways in which you never imagined, you know? Um, you all are also being called to release guilt and fear. Okay, it is time to release guilt and fear. Okay, this could be for past choices you may have made or lack thereof all right as long as you have held yourself accountable as as long as you have learned your lesson and as long as you address that then you may have had a problem whether now you whatever it is you feel as though you were dealing with just know that as long as you have the ability to address acknowledge and take accountability for your wrongdoings that doesn't mean that you have to beat the hell out of yourself and persecute yourself okay so you are being called to release release yourself from guilt and fear okay i'm hearing you have been forgiven all right it's time to um do the work it's time to handle your business and do what needs to be done to get you to this next phase and level of your life okay so we have anybody connected to my ops can stay right there with them 
okay? So this could certainly be your energy, the energy that you are operating and dominating the most in. You're just in this energy like, listen, anybody connected to my ops, you know, you can stay right there with them. If you're friends with my ops, if you're, you know, connected in any way, you can stay blocked right there with them, right? All right, so someone here in this equation had got tricked. I'm definitely hearing it's these low vibrational um, in energies here. Um, they didn't realize who you were. Okay, so they were, I'm hearing they were tricked about, you know, your true identity. I'm also, I'm also hearing that once upon a time, these people looked at you all as being weak. Um, things of that nature. But they see now that you are royal, okay? And I'm hearing that people are going to begin treating you as such. Even those so-called once before enemies. You know, you're going to have people from the past, like your far past. You could be, you know, in your 20s, 30s, 40s. But people you probably were like in middle school with, high school with, you're going to just run into them randomly. Even elementary. And they're just going to like, I'm here going to like apologize to you and things like that. They're going to be admired by you. All right. Or they're going to, excuse me, they're going to um, voice their admiration of you. But I'm also here, you know, take all that with a grain of salt. Don't let it go to your head. You know, remain humble and things of that nature. But continue to move in silence so that you can win in peace. I'm not saying re-allow these people back into your energy, especially if you sense that they haven't really done any soul work. You don't want to, you know, re-allow these people back, all right? But you can be cordial, cool, calm, and collected, and humble. But while protecting your peace, sanity, and energy for the most part. All right, so someone here, this could be your divine um, counterpart, your divine masculine, is in this energy of wondering, you know, you mad at me? Okay, so this person is sitting back telepathically communicating with you, but I don't, I don't feel like you hear them anymore. Like, at first, I felt like you guys had a very strong, um, like, telepathic connection, but now it's like, this person can't get through to you anymore and it's it's like really beginning to stress them out and so they're just they're crying to themselves they're angry because it's like how could i let the only one who i knew was the best choice out of everyone that i chose over them slip away you know and here you all are in your standalone chick energy you know moving in silence winning in peace doing your own thing there's people who sense this and that is why people are also trying to return to try to make amends with you, which is fine. You know, they, you can let them make amends, but never forget what people have done to you. Okay, never forget what they have said. I'm not saying hold a grudge or, or hold resentments. Of course, release that. But it's, it's imperative to remember who they've shown you because what's that quote? You know, believe people the first time. Oftentimes, that's truly who they are. All right, so that was a message for someone. Yeah, new whip, new life, new everything. Okay. All right, so if this is the, if this, I'm, I'm feeling like this is the energy that you all are in. Um, I'm also hearing that like, if this hasn't happened yet, it's going, it's literally on the way, like literally. Um, th the Most High is definitely rewarding you all for, you know, um, maintaining your faith you know believing you know doing that hard work okay and you all are certainly being rewarded okay someone in your energy is very petty feeling very petty this could be this um this masculine energy you know kind of feeling very petty at this time um certainly take it where it resonates but it could also just be you know, we have your mother as a snake here. Perhaps your mother is petty or there's a feminine energy or karmic who is very petty and it's, and it's like has a stone cold kind of energy. Yeah, never appreciated you. Okay, never appreciated you when they had you. You know, always thought that they'd have you forever. But now they're getting exactly what they deserve. Okay for messing over a divine being, a light worker, an earth angel. 
that is just a grave and dire mistake you just don't do things like that and these people are having a realization um of this truth okay um we're gonna pull a couple more and then i'm gonna get some tarot okay <clears throat> or i may get into I usually don't like picking them up off the floor, but I don't know. Spirit said pick this up. So they wish death and despair upon you. Now they are facing this. Okay. So these people wish death and despair on you. I'm hearing they was doing like some graveyard spells. They were um like, I don't know why I'm hearing like a, they got like a jar or of some sort. They were doing like some sort of voodoo or hoodoo on you <laughs> and it backfired on them okay and um they they may seem unfazed i'm hearing they're acting unfazed but they're definitely they're they're on the the losing end okay they're they're definitely losing this battle okay yeah you got them feeling bothered okay you got them feeling bothered okay and then spirit is saying no okay no so we're going to clarify this no i'm going to put th that at the top here so what is this know about spirit? Um, give me some, give me some insight and clarity on this. Know about what exactly? Okay. Ooh, they was heavy on the laughing when it was you. Okay, they was heavy on the laughing when it was you. Okay. Someone here is like, who the fuck cares? So if this isn't your energy, um, hmm, this is a, I don't know, it could be a karmic energy. Yeah, someone here is egotistical and prideful as well. Okay. All right, let me pick this up. Okay, yeah, we have divine masculine to divine feminine. I betrayed you and I'm afraid you won't see me the same. Okay. So yeah, this could be, I don't know, this no, I'm definitely hearing like, I don't know why. When I hear the no, I hear like a masculine, like a no, like, you know, like, mm -hmm. like somebody doesn't want you to go or something like that. It's, it's kind of strange, but all right. Now. Um, you know what, I'm gonna pick, I never use this deck, I'm trying to like, get more acquainted with the Hoodoo Tarot deck, because I really like this deck. Ah, look at the Empress and the Fool coming out right when I crack the deck in the middle. We got the Fool and the Empress. Look at your energy coming out crazy. You know, you're gonna get this new beginning, whether they like it or not. You know, you're not just feeling bothered because... They're beginning to realize that not only are they running out of time, but they're running out of options. Those of whom wish to, those of whom that are holding on by a thread, you know, they're trying to hold on to your energy, hold on to their ties to you, their so-called once before connection to you so bad, you know, and it's crazy because these are the same ones who swear just to ease their bruised, egotistical and prideful ego. They have to uh, make it seem as though you're checking for them. You don't give a damn about these people. Okay? You're a standalone chick for a reason. Okay? You know, you are the table. You are the crowd. What is this? Yeah. You do your own thing. All right? This is a period of rest and rejuvenation and relaxation for you. Okay? You have been working so hard. You have been doing so much work. And now you are being... You're like, you're going to be making money in your sleep. You are the mother of coins. Like I'm hearing you're going to be making, your money is going to be making money for you while you're sleeping. Period. <laughs> you know? Yeah, we have the nine of knives. You know, meanwhile, they're going to have to be somewhere eating, eating and having to face the karma due to everything that they have sown. So they will be reaping what they have sown 
for all of the betrayals, all the times they tried to stab you in the back, all the times they wanted to see you in a fucked up spot in life and beneath them, so to speak. But again, you're on your you're on your throne. You've been crowned. You're in your glory day. And there's nothing anyone can do to take this season away from you. Again, as I said before, there is nothing anyone can do to stop you from having this new beginning. Yeah, they didn't want you to have positive connections with loving, genuine, um, kind, empathetic, highly spiritually, I mean, highly spiritual, highly in tune individuals. They wanted you to be trapped to their low vibrational, indoctrinated, brainwashed, soulless asses. I'm sorry, but I'm speaking about people that literally, they're, they're narcissistic, they're Jezebel spirits. They literally do not have a soul. They don't have a mind of their own. They have been taken over by the enemy and they wanted to block you all from love, companionship. They was heavy on the laughing when it was you, when you was down and out, when you was broken. But now that you are rising up, now everybody is mad, feeling petty, wanting to throw shots. Yes, we have judgment, but they are facing judgment now. I'm also picking up on there will be some shocking truth that will be revealed. I'm here within the next 14 days. There's going to be a shocking truth that will be revealed within the next 14 days. But all of this truth is what is going to catapult and launch you into this new beginning that you have been waiting for. And the healing will begin when the Most High and the Divine takes you exactly where they have in store for you. It's not where you, at, you are at currently. That's why you may feel stuck. That's why you may feel lost. Because where you are is not where you're supposed to be. But you have to face whatever you have to face, you have to deal with. Sorry, guys. You have to deal with whatever it is that you are being faced with. Okay? Okay, we got the six of sticks here. You will be victorious in the end. You will be redeemed. Okay, you will be vindicated. Okay? The truth will be well received. You will be highly honored and praised for your courage. Okay, they didn't, um, again, they didn't know that you have ancient Egyptian blood. That your ancestors come from ancient Egypt. That, you're, that you are one of the indigenous ones. No, they did not know that. But they are beginning to, they are beginning to see it now. Again, this ten of baskets here, you have so much support. Your soul tribe, this is, this is giving me soul tribe energy. You have a loving group of people coming in to assist you, help you. I'm hearing high value people, high quality, high class, upper echelon, spiritual folk that is really tapped in. That's coming in to show you that love. Yeah, we got a father figure here. Okay. I'm hearing if you all have been estranged or rather, I'm hearing there like something is going to happen with or maybe to a father figure. Or maybe you have been estranged from your father figure. Maybe there will be some truth that comes out about a father figure here. So certainly take that where it resonates. Yeah, we have the eight of sticks, the eight of knives, and the six of baskets. Yeah. You have faced these very dark ugly dysfunctional toxic highly negative highly impactful on the psyche situations head on by yourself and i don't mean by yourself as if the divine and your ancestors weren't there spiritually rocking with you but i'm saying on this physical you faced and was hit with obstacle after obstacle after obstacle people put you through hell and back with the turmoil, you all have dealt with addictions. You have taken the wrong path before. You didn't know where to go before. You was in circles, dart after dart, stick after stick, but something finally gave. Okay, something had to give and it did. And that is why you all are being rewarded in this time. And people don't know how to take it. They didn't see you coming. 
okay? You know, again, you guys are definitely going to be, you are going to receive the highest form of redemption yet. You're going to have just a world-renowned breakthrough it is going to be something just... I just, well, like, I don't know. I just had to, I don't know. I just had to preach to y'all real quick because I was just, I don't know what. I just had some epiphany I was having as I was talking to y'all, but I'm just seeing, like, y'all been through it all with these French, fake-ass friendships, fake-ass family ships, fake-ass, false-ass relationships, not knowing who to trust, being isolated, being alone, having to go into solitude, having God hide you because you have a calling over your, your, your life. You have something great that you're about to do. And they wanted to stop you. These people wanted to take you out. They wanted to take you out. But God says, you won't. You won't go. They'll go before you do. Hmm. They also wanted to stop you. They also wanted to stop your person. You and your person were destined to be together. This is a twin flame connection. This is a, a long-term connection that was manipulated and broken apart by karmic energies who did not want to see you all together, who didn't want to see this masculine energy evolve and become this emperor that he always was. They always wanted to keep him juggling, you know, going back and forth in his head. Staying in a mental prison and in mental conflict behind you and other energies that they had been dealing with. Yeah, we have the we have the moon right here. Yeah, this is hidden secrets, psychic attacks. All right, people have certainly been playing in your energy. Okay, definitely. All right, um, but it's it's all being immediately reversed. Okay, they have been tricked. They have been duped. They're so egotistical and prideful that they couldn't even see that. Okay, they've been tricked and duped by the devil, I'm hearing. All right. Because they thought, because the devil knew, see, the devil knew it was going to be too expensive to take you out. It was going to cause too much ruckus, hell on earth, before you was going to get taken out. And so the devil had to trick these foes. Yep, the devil had to trick these frenemies and fake families that thought that they was going to get a piece of your pie. Yeah, give them what they are old on here and give them what they are due, but cut them out of your energy permanently. Because they thought once before that they was gonna stop you, your pinnacles, that they was gonna stop you from reaching your Ten of Pentacles, you all are in the Nine of Pentacles. You all are in the Ten of Pentacles, some of you. Already, you already got this new whip, this new life, this new everything. And they can't figure out how. They want to, you know, accuse you and lie on your name. Because they're mad. Okay? They didn't want to see you all have victory. They didn't want to see you all have success. So they had to drum up and try to muster up and, and conjure up different spirits and and thoughts and word and uh, word witchery and in different um spells to try to delay and slow you down not realizing that they were only doing that to themselves <laughs> these people were very petty yeah very petty very competitive all right this was a group of people all against one person all right I'm hearing that this went on for many years. This could have went on for five plus years. This could have been in a work um, situation. Coworkers always trying to compete, always trying to be the number one. And I'm hearing, you all don't have to try to compete. You just are who you are. And in that, you're hated for it. These words come out. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, this is the energy that your uh, divine masculine or your distorted masculine is in, excuse me. You know, this person has definitely taken a huge fall from grace. All right? This person, you all were meant to do great things together. Great things. But they didn't know how to handle you. They didn't know how to handle the light because they were trapped in the dark. 
Okay, they were trapped and tricked themselves by the devil. They were used by the devil in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, four of wands. Now they see you all being celebrated. You all can be on a platform. Your platforms could be growing. Um, no matter how much, I'm also hearing that no matter how much black magic people may or may not do on your platforms or your online businesses and what have you, whatever it is that you have going on, people are always going to try to do things on the back end to try to, like I said, set up some sort of delays for you, but you're still steadily growing and rising and birthing new ideas and new creations and becoming exactly who you, who you all want to be. Okay, this can be a king of pentacles and the reverse energy, a masculine energy, whether um, older or younger, who is very jealous of this divine feminine, okay, um, because he can't seem to manifest, okay, he chose to be used by the devil, and this is his judgment, okay, the most high had to come in and say, you know what, I'm going to humble you, I'm going to humble these people, Okay, this could be five different energies, five to six different energies, whether family, co-workers, uh, ex-lovers, friends, what have you. But these people are now stuck with this Four of Cups energy, okay, trying to recover from this karma, trying to take up, like, uh, they're trying to take cover, I'm here, and take cover and try to hide. But with this moon here, with this moon being here, you can't hide. I just heard you can run, but you can't hide. No, they cannot hide from the divine. They cannot hide from what is owed to them and what it is that they deserve. Yep. Five of Pentacles. Okay. They don't know what to do. There's a younger masculine energy and an older feminine um, energy. Whether I'm believing, I'm definitely hearing karmic. Uh, this can be like a mother and son who is going to find themselves stuck at this Five of Pentacles energy. This can also be an entire family. All because they wanted to stop a divine being of light. They wanted to cause distractions, delays. They wanted to tell lies, okay? They wanted to send snares, all right? But now they are under judgment, and the truth is being revealed, and there's nothing that they can do about it. They're all stabbing each other in the back and in the hearts, you know, hitting each other where it hurts. Yeah, we have the strength here, and we have the temperance here in the reverse. All right, so balance is being restored here. Um, you know, you all have, have been very strong for a very long time, but I'm here. It's enough with being strong. Now it's time to be rewarded. Okay, now it's time to do some living because you guys have done a whole lot of dying in terms of this rebirthing yourself and, and renewing yourself and, and re inventing yourself yes we got the three of wands here and then the seven of wands okay so again you all have just been renewing yourselves you have been you have rebirthed yourself okay you have walked away from these heavy burdens you have made up your mind and you have taken action and you are being guided and you're being heavily protected throughout this because i'm here you all have to make some very very hard and deep decisions and choices but it's for the greater good it's for you all to be launched and catapulted into your 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 next session your next season your next phase of life okay so do not fear all right, do not worry. Do not be afraid of the unknown. In fact, un embrace it. That's what you all are being called to do. Embrace it. Embrace the unknown. Embrace the different possibilities that lie before you. We have the three of wands here, the four of wands, okay? That is what spirit is waiting for you to do. You will, you, excuse me, you will be received with open arms by those who really love you by those who are really genuine who are really empathetic who really have a soul who are really connected to the divine and in tune and aware of themselves and secure with themselves you know positive like-minded energies is what you all are in the business of attracting at this time all right keep your energy high maintain your your frequency okay do not allow anyone to trigger you at this time because i'm definitely they're definitely trying to come in. They're definitely trying to come in with this uh, five of wands and this three of swords. They want to come in with some drama. All right. They want you to feel this licking that they are now receiving. But you didn't took your licking and you kept on sticking. All right. You kept on sticking with the divine. You kept on ticking with God. All right. You kept on rising to the top. All right. You kept on doing something, 
something new, something different. You kept, again, re rebuilding yourself, healing yourself. And they're now under judgment in this Five of Cups energy, not knowing what to do. Okay? So, your strength is your superpower. All right? Your unwavering love, empathy, and your connection to the divine is your superpower. All right? Yeah, this we have the moon here and this Ace of Cups. All right, I'm hearing your Ace of Cups offer was rejected by the one you loved. Wow, we just had perjury. This was on the, this was on the uh, floor. So yeah, someone can be under judgment for perjury. Um, this could have to do with your Ace of Cups. That's that could be what is hidden. Someone could have signed something in your name, tried to sign off on something in your name, or tried to use your name for something. I'm hearing. Wow. That's crazy. I, I just dropped the cards, trying to pick the cards up, and I seen the perjury on the floor. So, yeah, someone wanted to get in the middle of your Ace of Cups. Okay. Your joy. They wanted to, they wanted, they wanted to imbalance you. Okay. They wanted to uh, extract you of your power. And they thought that they could they could have it. Yeah. Yeah, they thought that they would take your power and your light from you and they they masquerade in it. Not gonna happen. <laughs> now they're sitting back at this five of cups energy looking like a damn fool. <laughs> it's funny. Alright, what else here? Anything else? Yep, we got the emperor here on the reverse. Yeah, they have taken a definite fall from grace. They are abusers, users, connivers, womanizers, liars. <laughs> I didn't mean to rhyme, but you did. <laughs> Liars, woman, I, I, I'm stop, I'm stop. <laughs> All right. Um, now I'm gonna pull a couple of messages before I close it out from the romance novel deck. Yeah, then we got the moon clarifying the moon. So yeah, there's a lot of hidden secrets coming out at this time, and I'm, I'm definitely hearing because of you all having this this intuition and this insight, this divine insight and clarity. And it's like you can own in on what's hidden in the dark. These people are mad. This King of Pentacles and Emperor energy in the reverse is very mad because they're stuck with the Five of Pentacles falling behind. Um, I'm hearing like a definite older witch, like a witch energy. Um, someone who's very witchy. Like, um, again, like I said, this could be a mother and son, like a mother and grandson. This could have to do with like a mother and a brother. It's just something chaotic. Like it's just, it's giving me cult like vibes. All these people are against one person and it's just like, why? <laughs> okay. This one's come out. Okay. We have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Yeah, so I feel like the lack thereof, like, I don't feel like you guys ever talked about any, like, spirituality or even religious anything with this person ever, okay? I'm also getting an energy. It's like, if you guys read tarot or if you guys are into tarot, I'm hearing, like, there's, like, a karmic energy. It's like ever since you started reading tarot or into tarot, it's like now they're trying to like masquerade again, basically, um, at this two of pentacles energy, wanting to masquerade in your energy and take your energy on. It's really weird. But before they weren't, you know, that was like not the thing to do, apparently. Yeah, but anyway, we have playfulness. To, re to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay. So yeah, you guys are definitely being called to allow your inner, you know, youthful, kind of like childlike self to shine. You know, there's nothing wrong with allowing your inner child to glow and show um, and exude, okay, and be vulnerable, all right, and have some fun, most of all, okay? All right, any other messages? Because this actually went longer than I expected. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So I'm definitely hearing like this new love that, you know, 
has or has not come in yet um this may differ from your usual type you know this person may be out of your race this person may be of a different complexion they may they may be of a different body type they may be of a different this or a different that but regardless you're being called to certainly keep an open open mind because this person is definitely going to bring forth balance in your life okay peace and harmony okay um definitely don't feel as though they're going to juggle you at all we also have a flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others okay so yeah, definitely um, you all could be in a flirtatious mood at this time or you're being called to kind of, you know, flirt a little, be flirtatious, okay? Because I feel like there's been like a some feminine energies here who have been like a bit in their masculine energy for, for, for a while, I'll say. But yeah, you all are definitely being called to just kind of be a little bit more softer on yourself and be a bit more playful and, you know, keep an open mind and whatnot. Um, so before I end the reading, I'm actually going to pull one of these. I always forget and then I always look at it while I'm editing the video and looking back at it. And I'm like, damn it, I forgot to pull in a bruker or however you pronounce this. Um, this was actually made in like the 1920s or something like that. And this lady, when I went to her shop, I picked it up and it's so old looking because like this is like one of the original packaging. So I was like, okay, I have to have that. All right, so listen, this is what I'm going to end it off with. Prepare to celebrate within your whole being. Surely as day quietly creeps into night, so too will the sweet victory of success creep into your destiny. Rewarding you for all of the efforts, patience, and endeavors of the past, allowing many ambitions and desires to be fulfilled. Wow, is that not what the hell I was, that is scary like this this sometimes gets scary guys because i just be like wasn't that not what i was talking about like ah all right <laughs> then we have it would be easier to try and count the grains in a spoon of sand than try to guess the unexpected and exciting news in store for you oh my gosh you guys that is absolutely beautiful so basically you are being guided to just sit still, sit still and be patient, you know, continue to work, you know, in silence, of course, but wow, that is confirmation right there, y'all. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the reading. If you did, please let me know in the comments and uh, by liking the video, sharing and subscribing if you aren't already. And until next time, divine timing, we are rising and I am checking out. Peace and love.